So today's video is going to be all about how to set up your Google Play Book account, right? Google Play is another platform just like Amazon KDB that allows individual publishers just like you and I to sign up on your platform and get the opportunity to publish your book and reach a whole lot of audience, all right? Just that the limitation, if you're watching me right now, the limitation of using Google Play Books is they don't accept all countries but i'm going to show you how i was able to overcome this obstacle and how i was able to set up my account get it ready to start accepting my books all right so if you're interested and you want to know what to do to set up your google play account ready for publishing then make sure you stay to the end of this video without wasting much time let's dive into my screen and let me walk you through this process Alright guys, so the first thing you are going to need in order to set up your Google Play Book account is a VPN, right? And the one I'm using is Winscribe. I have two that I use. I use Winscribe or I use Aeon VPN, right? So these are the two VPN I use. But I prefer Winscribe because it's stronger and it's better, right? So <clears throat> without wasting time, I'm going to go over to my browser, alright? this is the google play website you can just pause this video and copy it out or i'll be dropping it in my description we have play.google.com slash books slash publish all right so if you come over to the website you're going to see either you sign in if you already have an account or you click on get started all right so like i said before this is a platform that even have a wider audience than amazon all right you can see you can publish in 75 plus countries all right so there is, there is no limitation in terms of the countries you can reach no limitations at all and there is over three plus billion people using android phones or even iphones okay devices all right so google play is a really really is a really really important platform google play is a very important platform that you want to consider publishing your books on right and i'm going to show you in today's video how to set up your account then i'm going to do another video to show you how to publish on the account all right so let's just quickly set it up so we create our account we publish our book we promote our book we start earning money just for easy step so we'll click on get started all right so let's set up your publisher account so they're going to ask you associated google accounts let me refresh this so usually it is always advised to use your gmail or your google account to open this up right because it's going to be linked to your gmail all right i'm going to ask you what is the associated google account all right so always have a gmail account ready that you can just use then they'll ask you publisher type all right so you want to choose your publisher all right then they'll ask you publisher name all right so you can choose to use your name all right or you can choose to come up with a publishing firm name you can go to ChatGPT. And ask you to suggest publishing name that you can use so I'm going to just use a med publishing remember this is not your author name this is more like the name people will see as the publisher as the company that is publishing the book all right it's different from the author name people will see the author name then they will want to see which company is actually in charge of publishing this author's book right so you want to come in as a publisher okay not as an author not as a self publish auto or something like that all right so always choose publisher then publisher name you want to so like i said ahmed i will do ahmed publishing just for this example just for the sake of this example right so you can go to ChatGPT to give you a publisher name for a company that wants to publish book make sure it's unique make sure it's original make sure it's not in existence before right come up with something unique then the country now if you check this country you're going to see nigeria is not involved so no nigeria here 
and some African countries too are not here I am not sure okay Egypt is here but there are lots of African countries that you might not find here all right so um, it's actually limited so I'm currently using United Kingdom that's what I'm using on my Google uh, my Windscribe so let's use the same country they'll ask you for websites I think you can skip this all right they'll ask you for phone number you can also skip this so you click next you can skip the website you can skip the phone number it's not necessary I would like to receive occasional email updates about updates and opportunities feedback this of these blah 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 I'm not a robot and then you choose I agree after choosing I agree we'll move on so they are currently creating a partner partner successfully created so this is as simple as this your account has been created your account has been set up the next thing we want to do is to create a payment profile a payment profile where you fill in your bank information where you fill in your tax information all right so we are going to do this step by step i believe you already have a bank account either with gray either with geek pay either with clever if you don't have i'm not going to be doing that in this video just go to youtube search for videos on how to create a virtual dollar account it's going to be needed right so you want to so these are the first three things once you finish these first three things your account is set up then you can now move on to adding your facebook right so what we want to do in this, in this video today is just to set up these first three things and our account is ready all right without these first three things you cannot publish you can't publish all right they won't review your, your account so let's create a payment profile first of all so i'll click on create payment profile so they're going to ask for the profile name so at this point now I, i'm going to pause this video so i can get my um, bank account right from green Alright, so I have finished creating my payment profile. So the next thing I want to do now is to link my bank accounts, right? I want to link my bank account. So I'll click on link bank account. Alright, so you want to put your profile name on your account, right? Then you click on add payment method. They are going to ask you for the account number name on bank account name on bank account is the same as the name that will be here so chima is the anaka branch sort code okay then society account number okay and i'll paste it set as primary payment method and i am done so they will verify this they are going to send a deposit into this account right to verify that it can actually receive money all right so google is going to deposit less than 0 0.35 into your bank account within three business days so when it's time to verify you just go to the payment method page and enter the exact amount of the deposit all right you click on got it so they are going to send you a money just to verify that you can receive money with this account right so what you would do is when it's time to verify just come back payment center here all right when it's time to verify right after three days check your gray check your geek, geek bank check your geek pay or clever note the amount that was sent all right for my own case they sent me 0 
one seven dollars that is 17 cents so just come back to payment center right here then click on verify and then they'll ask you to put once you choose verify they'll ask you to put the exact amount enter the amount that was deposited once you enter the amount that was deposited just click verify and you're done and you're done with this part so they can't hold us because it's not up to us so we'll go back to home now and then the next thing we're going to do is to enter our tax information so i'll click on enter tax information right now okay so basically everything you need to fill up your information will be gotten from your bank details from clever or from greek it's as easy as that right so they are going to now ask me for um my tax information all right this is where they will come and start asking me for my tax information payment settings this is your payment account id this is your payment account nickname your threshold all right once you earn up to one euro or one pound you get paid your money all right so united states tax exemption info so if you want to exempt yourself from tax i don't know what to put here so i left it like that all right once you are done once you are done let's go back to home and you see that it is just going to see you have entered your tax information all right so i don't think there's any way of removing tax from google play all right you need to upload the particular document to prove that you are being exempted from paying tax okay so that's just that that's that about that let me see all right so like i said if you want to verify your bank account once you come to payment center just click on edit once you click on edit you see the option of verifying all right you see that option where it says verify and then you can verify now so just wait for three days until you receive the amount and then you can go ahead and verify your account so with this now our account is ready and we can now start uploading our book so in my next video i'm going to walk you through how to upload your first book on google play all right so make sure you stay tuned like this video and subscribe to my channel